Uh, thanks very much indeed for your company here on DXB today. Hope you're enjoying our beauty special, a bit of a celebration of the industry as a whole, especially in light of the fact we've had, well, the great and the good of the industry with us here throughout the week. Right, uh, let's now meet our next guest. Lenore is the founder and creator of Sante Selfcare, um, a well established band here in Dubai and the region. She'd be kind enough to join us live here on DXP today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Listen, um, you are an individual who needs little introduction and we've got so much to talk about. Yes. But I want to know, you know, given all the achievements, given all you've done as well through your extraordinary journey, talk to us about the birth of Sante and the brand there as well. You know, as a little girl, from the time I was little, I always wanted to heal. So, and my mum used to do a lot of natural Ayurveda at home. Mm. So my journey is actually 65 years of my birth. Mm. Since I'm 66, I started picking up and imbibing everything, whatever she did. Whether it was from the garden, the plants, the, you know, the rose petals. And she would actually make rose water at home mm. and use cream on her face. The cream which comes off the top of the milk. Mm. Mm. And uh, so probably it's a legacy of about 80, 90 years, which I picked up from my mum. Then I formalized my education in UK. Mm. And then I moved to Dubai after I got married. And then I went back to UK and trained as an aromatherapist. I was appalled at realizing every day more and more how toxic our skincare was. Mm. And honestly, when we looked, I looked at my mum and my aunts and my grandmother. They used use, use plain cream off the top of the milk, and they had fabulous skin. Mm -hmm. And here we were all spending so much of money and not looking our best. Malini, and who better than you to talk on this subject? Because you and I go back uh, so, many so many years. I think that seems to be a bit of a running theme on the show today. <laughs> I was 16 years old when you got me all dolled up for a magazine shoot. I believe yes, it, it was yes. for Young Times magazine, yes. a supplement of Khalid Times back in the day. You come with 50 years of experience. Can I tell you, you still look fabulous. You haven't aged a day. And that Thank explains you. a lot because you have this holistic, natural yes. approach yes. towards beauty. So I want to know a little bit more about your products so they are toxic free adapt adaptogenic Gen products rooted yeah. in aromatherapy ayurveda and reiki can and you explain reiki. that a little bit please? yeah see ayurveda is my roots it's yeah. my lifeline so when though i trained formally as an aromatherapist along with my being a beauty consultant when i was making the products i would unconsciously start putting in the ayurvedic products along with the other, the modern or the European education that I had. And like when I started making my pain oil, my first thought was clove. Because we know that clove works amazing for the nerves. Mm -hmm. Like there'll be turmeric in my products. Yeah. Um, there'll be almond oil in my products. In the face pack, if I'm making it, there'll be almond meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and I have very consciously and very strongly fought against not doing anything that you do, Doc. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's totally fine. And I, yeah. what I'd love to know is, like, what's your own skincare routine? What products do you use yourself? Because you I, look amazing. I use my natural products, which I make. Mm -hmm. So I do a small routine in the morning, mm -hmm. which stems from my Ayurveda. Okay. I get up, I do a little bit of breathing exercise. Okay. Um, twice, thrice a week, I use my Kansa wand. I'll show you all how to use it. And it's a multi-action tool. You can use it for so many things. Um, then I use all my, I do a face pack twice a week. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a mixture of Fuller's Earth and cream or almond oil because I have dry skin and oatmeal and saffron and rose petals. Lovely. So that also acts as a scrub and it tones and tightens my skin. It sounds delicious as well. Yeah. Yes, you can. Like uh, when I was young, I used to say, if you can eat it, you can put it on. <laughs> Nimi, I don't know if you agree okay. with me. This looks like the little masala cabinet in every Indian mum's household. Yes. Do you yeah. agree? Absolutely. <laughs> but it's so colourful yes. as well. I think that's the important thing to point out. So also the tools that you have. Yes. Uh, could, you, could you actually showcase that to us? Yes, and how absolutely. You use that? This is called the Kansa wand. It's an ancient three, five thousand year old uh, massage tool for the face. It's 
changed its form. Mm. It's become easier to use. Yeah. So you cleanse your face, wash your face. I apply my Inara, which is my pure Ayurvedic serum. I'm not selling my product today, but I'm just talking about it. I'll sell it for you. It. That's fine. I'll mm -hmm. sell it. Yes. <laughs> Buy it from any great... Uh, go down to Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and then you take a little bit, apply it on the face. And then gently, after you've done a couple of deep breaths, to focus and zone yourself, center yourself rather, and then you start on the center of the eye, the third eye. And then you gently massage, not vigorously, just gently deeper massages. And then you have put the oil and you just gently, and it actually detoxes the skin. Mm. Uh, when I used it the first time a few years back, you wipe yourself with a white towel and you actually see gray coming out. Wow. It's the magic of this metal, the grey. We need to get it one comes of those up, out. Yes. Definitely. No, it actually <laughs> works. But you can't buy it and pray at it. Mm. You have to use it. Yeah. Mm. See, it's, it's fast beauty is when we go to a salon or we go to the lovely doctor and have something done. Ayurvedic tools or natural products, you have to do regularly. And you are a testament to that. Thank you so much for coming thank on the you. show, Malini. Unfortunately, we've run short of time, yes. but thank you for educating us on holistic Ayurvedic beauty. Ayurveda yes. is definitely, you know, pride and glory, especially of us Indians. Yes. And thank you for sharing it with the rest of the world. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Thank you, thank you Tom. Thank you. Next up, Amy caught up with Salama Muhammad, the founder of Peaceful at Beauty World Middle East. Take a look. I'm here at Beauty World Middle East where we're going to uncover some of the latest trends and meet some of the industry's professionals right here in Dubai. And as if that isn't enough, we've also got an exclusive interview with Salama Mohammed and we're going to learn more about her skincare brand, Peaceful. So buckle up because you're in for a ride. Joining me now is the gorgeous Salama Mohammed. Thank you so much for talking to DXB today. So I want to ask you, first of all, you have inspired so many women to embrace their natural beauty, but let's talk about your story. When did you decide that you want to share your story and embrace your skin and share that with everybody? I always felt like I never fit in the beauty standards. I always felt, you know, I was the black sheep of like what beauty standards standing for like I did not have what it takes to fit in that beauty category and the beauty standard I have vitiligo since the age of five and I always felt that I was never felt welcomed or heard or seen so I wanted people to feel comfortable in their own skin let's touch a little bit on the beauty industry because you've mentioned before that it's got quite a narrow idea of what beauty is so how are you looking to break down those barriers with your brand peaceful just to set the record straight, like I felt the beauty standard within like my environment, within mm -hmm. Salama, within Salama's life, that it was narrow-minded. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not here generalizing what other people feel like. That was my personal journey. So what we're trying to do is break that from a personal experience, is break that boundary and break that wall that you don't need to fit in what beauty standards in your own environment feels like. So let's delve in a little bit deeper about Peaceful. Can you tell us about the brand and where the idea came from? So Peaceful is a skincare brand. We're a luxury and high-end skincare product that we manufacture product from scratch. So it's not white labeled, it's actually made from scratch. It took me three years to manufacture and, and perfect Peaceful. We're the only brand that is standing withstanding actually the heat so we're heat resilient um, that's what makes us different from the rest of the skincare products you know when you buy skincare product or product for any matter two weeks into the summer it's like it, the formula changes the texture changes the aroma changes peaceful doesn't because we've created product to withstand the heat 50 degrees and um, what makes us different as well is we're from the people for the people okay. so what is next for you. What have you got coming up next? Can you share with us at DXV today? What is next for Salama Muhammad? One product at a time. Um, I feel like what's next for us is always just think of a creative way, innovative way to create products that are missing in the market. 
I've had an incredible time here at Beauty World Middle East, exploring some of the amazing brands that are here on offer, as well as having a chat with none other than Salama Muhammad and learning more about her brand, Peaceful. Now I've got some more beautifying to do, so I'm gonna see you guys later. Salama Mohammed here on DXB Today, showcasing why it's just so important to embrace your natural beauty. But for now, on DXB Today, it's all about DXB in 60. Over to you, Ash. All right, Dr. Victoria, thank you so much for sticking around. But now we are going to put you on the spotlight and ask you 60 questions. No, well, not 60 questions. We're going to ask you a few <laughs> questions within 60 seconds, and you need to answer as many as you can. Are you ready? OK. All right, and your time starts now. If not a dermatologist, which industry would you be working in? Mm, journalist. One thing you oh please. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you cannot live without. Mascara. Your motto in life and work. Uh, work hard, be happy. Your hidden gem in Dubai. Ooh. The Seven Stadium on a Saturday morning. Oh wow. Um, your inspiration. Mm. Victoria Beckham. That's a joke, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a book you're reading at the moment? Um, I'm reading a murder book right now. It's like Indian Rankin, uh, Rebus. You're my kind of girl. Yeah. Top series you've watched this summer? Ooh, what have I watched recently? Um, Love is Blind. Love is Blind, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top podcast recommendation? Uh, the Rest is Politics, that's my favorite just now. Why Dubai? Why Dubai? It's an amazing place, why not? Perfect. Well, you did pretty well, actually. Thank you so much for answering those questions. And Thank we definitely you. got to know you a little bit better. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much indeed for joining us. Really appreciate Thank your time. You. And great. thanks so much indeed for adding to the conversation. Right, we're going to take a short break after that. Talking to an Adidas athlete, Spoma Ambassador, uh, Jay Christie, joining us in the studio for some top tips that will help you have a better workout. Well, certainly will help Nimi. Stay with us. <laughs> 